If you've been wondering what layer masks are and how to use them, this short series of Adobe tutorials on layer masking essentials is for you. In this tutorial, we'll take a first look at how layer masks work before going on to examine specific uses for layer masks in the rest of this series. A layer mask is an overlay that you can add to a layer to control what to hide and what to show on that layer. To add a layer mask, first make sure that the layer that you want to mask is selected in the Layers panel. Then go down to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the Add Layer Mask button. That adds a white layer mask thumbnail to the right of the image thumbnail on the layer. Wherever a layer mask is white, it shows what's on the layer. So now you can see the entire photo that's on this layer. Wherever a layer mask is black, it will hide the layer. And wherever a layer mask is gray, it will partially hide the layer. Those are the only colors that you can use on a layer mask, since a layer mask is a grayscale item. Let's try painting with black on this layer mask to hide part of this photo. To set that up, select the brush tool in the toolbar, then use any of the color choosing methods that you're familiar with to set the foreground color to black and the background color to white. One quick way to do that is to press the letter D on your keyboard, which sets the foreground color to white and the background color to black. Then press the letter X on the keyboard to switch those color boxes. So again, that's the letter D and then the letter X. Now glance over at the Layers panel again to make sure that there's a white border around the layer mask thumbnail, not the image thumbnail. That will ensure that you're painting on the mask rather than directly on the image, which you usually don't want to do. Now move into the image and start to paint. As you do, you're hiding the content of the masked layer so that you can see down through it to what's ever beneath it in the layer stack. In this case, just transparency represented by this checkerboard. If there were another layer below this one, you would see down to whatever was on that layer. And if you take a look at the layer mask in the layers panel, you'll see your black paint on the layer mask in the areas where content is now hidden. Now let's say that you change your mind and you want to bring back some of the content you just hid. To do that, all you have to do is paint with white on the layer mask. So press X on the keyboard and that will switch the background and foreground color boxes so that white is now the foreground color, and then paint over some of the hidden area to bring it back into view. So now you've experienced the big advantage of using a layer mask. A layer mask doesn't permanently change the image like erasing or deleting content might do. Instead, with a layer mask, you have the ability to bring back or fine tune what you've hidden at any time. And you can even do that after you close and reopen the image later, as long as you saved it in a format that retains layers, like the PSD or the TIFF format. There may come a time when you want a larger view of your layer mask. To see that, hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and click right on the layer mask thumbnail. Now in the document window, you can really see the black, white, and gray paint. And if you want, you can paint with those colors right in the document window on the mask. When you're done, hold the Option or Alt key and click again on the layer mask thumbnail. And finally, if you want to delete the layer mask altogether, you can drag it down to the trash icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And then you can choose to either apply it before you delete it, in which case you'll be making a permanent change to the image, or you can just delete it and start again. So as you can see, you have lots of options when you're working with flexible layer masks.